All right, so now we're going to continue with radicals, but I'm going to be looking at adding them. So that's number 33. Okay, and then I'm going to be mul multiplying them. That's number 34. Okay, and then we'll do one on dividing and after that. Okay, so radicals are kind of like like terms. You know, when you have variables, also like fractions, you have to have the same variable, I mean, the same radical part, I mean, and you don't right now. So right now, you can't just add anything together. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the first one alone because it's fully simplified, but you're going to take that 27 and you're going to break it down, and it's three threes. Don't forget, there's a five already out in front but then the 27 is three threes. So you see there's a pair of threes, and since we're doing a square root, that's what we need is a pair in order to bring something out. So I'm gonna leave the first negative eight squared to three alone. The five was already outside. Here's a pair of threes, so I can bring a three out, and then I've got a three left under the radical. So this is minus eight squared to three plus 15 square root of three. So that gives me a seven square root of three. I, now that they are like radicals, see, I was able to count up how many I had and that's gonna be my final answer. Okay, so with adding, you need to get the radical part to be the same if possible, then you can add them together. Now 34 is a multiplying problem. There's a times right there. So that square root of three is gonna get distributed and when you do that, you're multiplying. So you're gonna take the square root of three times the square root of two, then you're gonna take the square root of three times the four square root of 15, and four square root of 15 has an understood times as well right here. So these are times, okay? And so when you're working within a term, which is this, these are both under the radical, so you'll be able to multiply them back together because they're both in inside, so you can multiply them together. Now over here, the four is outside, but the three and the 15 are both inside. So you'll be able to multiply the three times 15 and get a 45 back underneath the radical, and then I'm bringing down the plus sign. Okay, there's nothing I can do about the square root of six, but over here on the 45, I can break it down. Let me do it over here to the side. I can break it down, and I would have two threes and a five. So right here, I have two threes and a five. So underneath that radical, I'm gonna, I see those, that pair of threes, which I can bring out a three for that. And so what I have here at the end is square root of six plus 12 square root of five. And so I'll leave it at that because these are not like radicals and I can't get them to be like radicals, okay? All right, and then another radical one I thought would be worth doing is number 35. Okay, on problem number 35, we have four over the six minus the square root of three. Okay, so with problems like this, the directions say to rationalize the denominator. Rationalize, that means get rid of the radical. We need to rationalize the denominator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the denominator by six plus the square root of three. It's always like that. Everything's exactly the same, except this is a minus and this is a plus, okay? So when you make those match like that and you just have the signs different like we do here, then watch what happens. I'm gonna leave the top alone for a minute. I like to leave that factored but when I start multiplying out the denominator, when I distribute the six throughout, I get 36 plus six square root of three. Six times six, six times the square root of three. Then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do negative square root of three times six. 
So see how the six isn't under the radical, but the three is, you can't put them together underneath. It's just minus six squared to three. The six stays outside, the three stays inside. Now I have a negative times a positive, so that'll be minus, and square root of three times square root of three will be square root of nine. Okay, they're both underneath the radical, they're both inside, you're able to multiply them back together. Now the reason this idea of using exactly the same thing but with one minus and one plus, the reason that works is middle term cancels out, square root of nine becomes just three with no radical, and so on top we have four times the quantity six plus square root of three, on the bottom we have 36 minus three, and that's 33. Okay. Like with all the others, we would look to see if we could simplify, but 4 and 33 don't have anything in common. So we could leave our answer just like this, and it's also okay if you had distributed at any point in the process, you could have left your answer like that. Both of those are, are fine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to...